Hey everybody, it's Brian back with Inspiring How You See That, and uh, I don't know why I'm doing this one to myself. <laughs> I know I'm opening myself up for ridicule with this one, but I figured it would be fun. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm actually going to list my top 12 guilty pleasure songs. And so what this list is going to be is a number of songs that um, maybe don't fit into my normal types of music that I like. Or they might be artists that I don't usually listen to. And for whatever reason, these individual songs, I just, I love. And I, I can't explain why. But it, they, in some way, shape, or form, they seem to go against who I normally am. And so, again, I know I'm going to get ridiculed. And I'm, you know what, that never stopped me before, so why now? It, it's all in good fun. Uh, I know there's people, I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? Or turn in your man card. <laughs> I get it. Trust me, I get it. But you know what? Again, we're having fun here, and I can't help it. I love these songs. So with that, throw myself at the mercy of the crowd and jump right in. At number 12, Cindy Lauper's Time After Time. Yeah. I start right out of the gate and just... There we go. <laughs> I love this song. I I don't know I don't know why. I just absolutely love this song and I have since I was a little kid. It's it's so catchy and it's just you can't help but sing along with it. It's I I don't know what else to say about it. It's just an absolutely wonderful song. Um I'm not a Cindy Lauper fan, nothing against her. It's just not my style, but that song, I don't she just nails it. So that's a heck of a way to start this out. <laughs> Number 11 is All Star by Smash Mouth. And the reason that this one's kind of a guilty pleasure is I remember when this came out, oh, God, probably early 90s when I was a teenager. And everybody liked it for about five minutes and then everybody got sick of it. And I get why. I, I remember it was big when Shrek came out, it was played there, and you couldn't go anywhere without hearing it. And even I got sick of it. But I... I love it. I mean, I, every time it comes on now, you know, in the rare times that it comes on in my shuffle or I hear it on the radio, I, I got to crank it up. I mean, it sounds just a lot of fun. It's just one of those kind of stupid bubblegum type songs that just you love. Even if you hate it, you can't help but bop along with it. So, again, All Star by Smash Mouth. Number 10. <laughs> I've seen memes about this one where it's talking about like, you know, white boys at a frat party when this song comes on they go nuts and it's true. It's Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Again, I don't know what it is about that song, but I love it. You, you can't help but sing along with it when it comes on. You know, it starts at that dun, 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 dun. And you, you know what it is and you're just like, I'm in. And I just I, it's one of those, I don't know if I've ever heard anything else by Tracy Chapman. I'm sure she's made other hits that I just can't think of. But that song, it's just a classic. And I absolutely adore it. Number nine. This is probably the one that maybe is the least weird on the list. It's Pieces by Rob Thomas. Um, the reason I put it on, I, I adore this song. I, I love it. It's a beautiful song. I think Rob does a great job singing it. It's very pop, and I'm not really a pop music fan for the most part. It, it's rare when I really like a pop song, and I love this song. Um, on the list, it well, it's one of the newer ones on the list. And I just, again, Rob Thomas, who is, of course, the, the lead singer um, of uh, Matchbox 20, he does a great job with it. It's a very catchy tune. Um, you just, you can't help again, bop along with it. On to number eight. <laughs> this song is so stupid, but I love it. It's I'm Blue Dobby Da by Eiffel 65. I, I, I don't know why I like this song. I honestly, because it's so incredibly stupid. I just love it. And I mean, you can see the guys behind me. They're the kind of guys that you probably just want to backhand just by looking at them. I just, but I don't know what they did. They got something that just became a huge hit for no explainable reason at all. And I just, I can't help but love the song. It's so stupid, but so fun, so nonsensical. And it just, it's a, a great song. Moving on to number seven, uh, Low Life by Poppy. Poppy is a very hard to describe artist i mean if you know anything about her she started out as like this internet presence that was just very robotic very strange and very cute like it's weird like a 
like this cute blonde girl who's like a robot and it's just it was weird um and then now she's into like death metal i don't know how to describe it it's weirdly fascinating but low life is a great song i it's so catchy and it's almost got like that reggae beat to it it's just i i love it i i will listen to it over and over because it's just i can't get enough of it and i i got like all these songs i don't know why i love it but it just it's fantastic so the video's weird and creepy and it's got all this like illuminati imagery in it and i i think she's doing that on purpose to to make a statement of you know just how weird the record industry is and it's effective <laughs> so i'll give her that it's just a great song low life by poppy number six <sighs> lady gaga million reasons now i gotta say something here when lady gaga came out in the first few years i couldn't stand her i thought she relied on shock value, you know, with the meat suit and all that stupid crap, and I, I couldn't stand her. Then I actually listened to some of her music, and I gotta tell you, she's super talented. And th this song, Million Reasons, I love it. It's a great song. And I gotta give her credit. I remember uh, a few years ago when she was doing the halftime show at the Super Bowl, when they announced that and before it came on, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. This is going to be horrible. It's going to be a train wreck. I'm going to hate it. i got to be honest. That was probably the best Super Bowl halftime show that I can remember. Lady Gaga was phenomenal in that Super Bowl halftime show. She wasn't controversial. She just came out and nailed it. And I, I, I'm not a Lady Gaga fan. I'm not saying that. With that said, I have to tip my hat to, to her talent and how amazing a, a singer she is. And... Million Reasons is a fantastic song. So now we're into the top five. This one's going to shock a lot of people that know me. <laughs> if you know me, you know I do not like rap. Rap music is just the one type of music. I respect the talent. I, I, I know a lot of people love it. That's great. It is not my thing. I just don't like it. With that said, there's literally four or five, a handful of songs that I like. This one's at the top of the list. It's California Love by Tupac. Don't know what it is about it. It's so catchy. The, especially the chorus. I just... I mean, other people that I know that, that hate rap like this song. It's just, it's, it just gets in you, makes you want to dance, and you just love it. And so, check out California Love by Tupac. Number four is Angel by Shaggy. Uh, again, kind of a hip-hop pop song. I don't know if so much hip hop this one, but Shaggy does some hip hop. It's a great song. I mean, it's it's a really kind of a cutesy, you know, love song, and the chorus is just it, it hooks you. Um, it's a fantastic song, and I remember being and a lot of these songs like this one. You know, they came out in my late teens, my early twenties, and I just remember being at bonfires, hanging out with friends, and these are the kind of songs that would come on the radio, and you just. I think maybe that's why I love some of these songs is it reminds me of some of those times that, that were amazing times in my life. So that probably plays a big part into why these are guilty pleasure songs for me and why they don't fit what I normally like, but they have a, a, a spot in my heart. And Angel by Shaggy definitely is. It fits that bill. Now we're on to the, the top three. <laughs> and this song, this is a great song. My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. The problem with this song is, and it came out when the movie Titanic came out, you couldn't go five minutes without hearing this freaking song play somewhere. To the point where it was like, oh my god, shut up, turn the song off. <laughs> and I get it. Now that, and I went through that where I'm like, I don't ever want to hear this song. I hate this song because it was so overplayed. Now that years have gone by, I hear it again. It's a beautiful song. It really is. I mean, Celine Dion is at her best here. And she's showing off the pipes, and it's just an absolutely beautiful song. And I love it. I don't want to hear it a million times like we did back then, but I love the song. Number two. This is where I'm probably going to have to turn in my, my man card for these last two or three. Truly Madly Deeply by Savage Garden. I know. It's, it's like the chick flick equivalent of songs. I get it. It's beautiful. I love it. It's it's 
wonderfully sung. It's wonderfully written. It's... Hey, man, if you're with a girl and you want to make her fall in love with you, put the song on. I'm telling you, it's going to work. It's It's got that kind of power. It's a beautiful song. And you know what? I like it. There, throw it out there. I love it. My number one guilty pleasure song, and I have to admit, I absolutely love this song. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. And it's Hero by Enrique Iglesias. And I know I'll, I'll probably get made fun of, but I don't care. It's a fantastic song. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's it's like a romantic ballad. It's And Enrique is just a, a great singer. And he's just got that way of delivering it where you're like, dude, <laughs> you're getting the ladies, man. <laughs> you just know he is. It's, it's a beautiful song. It's absolutely amazing. And so <laughs> check out all these songs. And you know... Those of you who are going to make fun of me, I know I planted some of these as earworms in your head, so you're th you're welcome for that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it's it's fun making this list. Um, let us know what some of the songs that that you maybe out in public don't admit, but you, in your heart you love. I, I I think it's always fun to do those kind of things. Um, I, I'm not going to put up any honorable mentions because this was painful enough to open up my soul on this one. But uh, in all seriousness, thanks for coming, guys. This was fun to do. Let us know what songs you like. Um, let us know what you think about this list. I'm going to try to force Kevin to sit down and make one of these. I think it'll be fun. Uh, but uh, we love you guys. God bless and rock on.